Questions for Nate Temple. How many camps is this now, Nate? Uh, this is going into my fifth. So fifth? Yeah, a little bit older, yeah, fifth camp. I feel like you kind of know how it goes. I mean, what, what, what lessons can you share with some of the young defensive linemen as they come into their first camp? Uh, stay consistent and keep your head up, man. I mean, there's going to be ups and downs, bro. There's going to be highs and lows, bro. There's going to be days where you're on top of the mountain at the bottom, bro. And the only thing you can do is be consistent, bro. Be the hardest worker, come in, and, and do your job. That's the only thing. You've dealt with those. Like, how have you gotten through some of the highs and lows? Uh, definitely been a few lows for me with injuries and stuff. Uh, really leaning on my, my, my family, my team, my coaches. And really God too, man. That's, I know that's who got me. That's who you lean on whenever you're in times of struggle. That's when you grab your brothers. And I think that's what, you know, we do well here at Pitt and especially on the defense and the D-line. Can you trust the linebackers? They can be a shifting group. I know the hot boys got it. This guy right here, this is my roommate right here, man. Thick and thin. I do, do definitely choose, uh, trust the hot boys. Is it is it weird, you know, in your group, the defensive line, you had several guys who were here for so long. Pollard, Desmond, and now like a lot of those guys are here. You're kind of like the last of like, those guys who are around for 2020, 2021, those years. Is it weird being kind of like the last of that group where you're looking at guys like Dayon? Like Dayon and Dayon, he's been in his ear some years, but still you were, you've been here for so many rides. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I was here with Pat and Weave too. I mean, I've been here for exactly. a while, so you can add them in there too. Uh, what I'd have to say, bro, is knowledge. My knowledge. I feel like my knowledge is really well. I, I chose to learn from those guys instead of, you know, be upset that they were ahead of me and better than me. And I, I try to go from a learning gear and learn from them because they were great. They were great mentors. And I try to be the same to the young guys. So that's how we think about that. And be wrong. That was a big transition. 2020, I mean, Jones and Weaver were all Americans that year. Yes, and then they're gone. you got to get a new crop in. Now, it's kind of the same thing happening this year, right, where you're replacing some really – Productive guys. I mean, what, what's the the feeling among the DNs of, of the next guys who are ready to step up? We're gonna work. I said we're gonna put down the work, and then we're gonna show it on the field. Are there things that Coach Parker challenges you with because you've been here longer? Like things he tells you, like even not necessarily like when you guys are practicing, but just like, hey, I need you to be accountable for this, and you know, watch the watch this guy over here and be kind of an ear for me. Yeah, Coach P, he does a great job, man, especially, man, he wants a, he wants a player coach, man. He wants us to coach each other because, I mean, then you're learning from the coach's aspect, the technique, and your teaching. So we try to coach everybody up, man. It's been like that since I've been a freshman, and I still feel that here today. How much easier is it to listen to your teammates say that than it is your coach? Uh, I mean, both of them. I mean, every, every, I'd say in the D-line, everybody wants love for each other. So whenever your, your boy is saying something to you, it's not like he's trying to put you down or – Point you out in front of the coach. He just wants you to get better, so it's all love. That's how I'd say we feel about it then. Now. Who do you feel amongst the younger guys has grown the most in the last year or two? I'll say they all have grown tremendously. Um, I mean, I don't know even know if y'all would consider him youngly, young, but I think Nakai Johnson, he is continually growing mentally on and off the field. You know, he's committed them to the weight room. And he's, he's, I'd say he's growing well, but all of them are growing well. I'd say the room's growing on a great pace. Anything else? Cool. That's cool.